Did you notice how SpaceX's Starship progress has slowed down recently? It's a big change from how things looked not too long ago. Just last year and early this year, SpaceX was launching Starship at a surprisingly fast pace. They were making regular progress with each flight. Sure, there were explosions and setbacks, but each launch gave them valuable data, and they kept moving forward without long delays. The company became so confident that they publicly promised something huge. They said they would launch 25 Starship missions in 2025. Not only that, they even went ahead and secured launch licenses from the FAA for all those 25 launches. It sounded bold, maybe even too ambitious, but after seeing their momentum, many people thought they might actually pull it off. But now, reality looks very different. We're already a few months into 2025, and so far only two Starship test flights have taken place. Flight 7 launched on February 18th, and Flight 8 followed on March 14th. Both of these launches, while important from a testing point of view, ended in failure. The booster and ship both faced serious issues during flight and didn't survive until the end. Let's quickly break down what happened in these missions. Flight 7 began with a smooth liftoff. The booster separated successfully, and for a moment it looked like things were going well. But just before the booster was supposed to perform its landing burn over the Gulf of Mexico, it lost control and broke apart. The upper stage, Ship 28, continued its planned flight, but minutes later it too experienced a loss of control and was destroyed mid-flight. While the flight did achieve some objectives, like a better hot staging separation, the overall result was another lost vehicle. Then came Flight 8, which also started out okay. The booster and upper stage separated just fine. But once again, problems appeared during the re-entry phase. The ship failed to survive atmospheric re-entry, most likely due to heat shield failure or control system issues. The booster also failed during descent and exploded, that made it two Starship flights in a row in 2025, both ending in explosions. After two failures like this, everyone is now looking ahead to the next launch, Flight 9. And the big question on everyone's mind is, what will SpaceX change this time? Normally, when SpaceX is getting ready for a Starship launch, there's a clear rhythm to how things move forward. Once the booster and ship are assigned to the mission, they go through a series of tests one after the other. You'd typically see the booster rolled out to the pad first, where it begins with cryogenic proof testing. This involves loading it with extremely cold liquid nitrogen or similar fluids to check for leaks and structural issues. After that, the booster would go through a spin prime test, where the engines are spun up without firing just to confirm the plumbing and fuel flow systems are working. Then comes the static fire test. The engines are ignited for a few seconds while the rocket is clamped down. This is usually the most important test before stacking, and it tells engineers whether the booster is ready for flight. Once the booster passes these checks, the upper stage follows a similar pattern. It gets its own cryo test and sometimes its own static fire, depending on the flight plan. After both stages have been tested, they're stacked together on the launch mount to form the full Starship rocket. After stacking, the entire system goes through a wet dress rehearsal. This is when the fully stacked rocket is fueled up and a full countdown is performed, stopping just before engine ignition. It's basically a full launch simulation, and it's meant to verify that all systems, hardware, and ground support equipment are ready. That's how things have gone in the past, especially with Flight 7 and 8. But this time, the usual process seems to have slowed down. Earlier this month, on April 3rd, SpaceX did complete a static fire test for Booster 14, also known as B-14. This was a big moment because it marked the first time SpaceX reused a Starship booster. The static fire went smoothly. All 33 Raptor engines lit up, and there were no obvious problems. Many thought this meant the rest of the process would move quickly and we'd see a launch in the following weeks. But that hasn't happened. Since the static fire, there's been very little movement at Starbase. There haven't been any additional tests on the booster, no signs of cryogenic tests, no wet dress rehearsal, and no stacking with the upper stage. 
That's very unusual, especially considering how close the last two launches were spaced. Instead, the only major activity observed was the booster being lifted off the orbital launch mount a few days later. That's typically a sign that the booster is being prepared for transport, either back to the production area or to the staging yard for more work. Musk originally said Flight 9 could happen just four to six weeks after Flight 8. That would have put the launch window somewhere around mid-April. But at this point, that timeline is looking very unlikely. While he did post on X saying the launch is coming up soon, he didn't give a specific date. And when Musk doesn't give a date, it usually means things are still very uncertain behind the scenes. Some people were guessing April 18th could be the target. Others hoped for April 20th, which holds some symbolic value for SpaceX and has been used in the past for major announcements or events. But even those optimistic guesses now seem out of reach. With how little visible progress has been made in the last couple of weeks, those dates are probably off the table. This isn't the first time Musk has been overly optimistic about timelines. In fact, he's known for it. Anyone who's followed Tesla or SpaceX for a while knows that Musk always pushes bold ideas and often sets incredibly aggressive timelines that rarely hold up. A great example is his earlier prediction that Starship would send humans to Mars by 2025. No joke. He actually said that multiple times in interviews and public appearances a few years ago. At the time, it sounded futuristic, but exciting. Now that we're actually in 2025, the situation looks completely different. So far, SpaceX has launched only eight full Starship test flights since the program began, and nearly all of them have ended in explosions or partial failures. None of the flights so far have demonstrated a complete successful mission from launch to booster landing to ship re-entry and splashdown. Not even one. That goal still hasn't been reached. Even the most recent flight, Flight 8, wasn't much better than the very first few tests. Sure, the booster and ship separated successfully, and the flight lasted longer than earlier ones. But the booster was destroyed during descent, and the upper stage didn't survive re-entry. That's more or less the same ending we saw in previous flights. The heat shield, the engine control, the structural stability, all still seem to be works in progress. So when Musk says Flight 9 is coming up soon, we have to take it with a grain of salt. Because the bigger picture is this. We're in 2025, and Starship hasn't made the kind of progress that was promised. Not even close. There's no Mars mission in sight. There's no operational cargo flight. There isn't even a flight that has successfully completed all its goals from start to finish. Given all of that, it's much safer to say that the next launch, Flight 9, might happen toward the end of April. Possibly around April 26th, if everything lines up. But even that is just a rough estimate. With rockets, especially experimental ones like Starship, delays are not just common. They're expected. Technical issues can pop up at any moment, weather can interfere, and on top of all that, SpaceX still needs approvals from the FAA, which can take days or even weeks depending on the situation. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.